Today I'm gonna to be letting a random filter decide which logos we mash together. If you're new here, I'm Tyler, AKA Tylee Tube, and on this channel I design, redesign, critique, do all kinds of stuff with logos. So in the one today, I'm gonna to be using some of my design software, plus a TikTok filter I made to give me some random logos and then mash them together. This series really came about by me asking the question, what if two rivaling logos had a baby together and then I made this filter and then it just has progressed from here. So I'm gonna go ahead and run the filter and then we'll get working on our first one. Okay, up first we have ooh, Starbucks plus Pringles. Okay, let's go. What I'm thinking for this one is taking the Pringles guy's face and just kind of transposing it on top of the Starbucks girl. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it big enough to fit in that little circle right there. And then I'm gonna take this tool right here and erase everything that says Pringles. So that way I can just isolate his head and get the exact shape from the logo. So I took that tool, I'm just gonna select all of these and then take my eraser here and I'm just gonna clean up some of the edges with a pen tool. All right, next what I need to do is get in there really tight and make sure I get all of the little details in there and then I'm gonna start working on the face. Okay, so now what I wanna do is isolate this layer right here and just make sure that I can get this little green outline going to differentiate it from the body. Cleaning up this edge right here because I see that there was a little mistake I made earlier. And now I'm gonna take that green color and transform the mustache and the eyebrows. Okay, next what I wanna do is just center it a little bit more and move that green line under there. And then I'm gonna add on some hair so it looks like it's kind of coming around the oval shape. So I'm doing that with the Studio Pen tool again, taking the green to clean it up. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the left side here. And here is the final result. This is definitely one of the funniest ones of the day. I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I do, but I could totally see the Pringles man or the Starbucks girl collabing with different brands and then implementing their own faces onto each logo. Now, some of you may not know this, but I am actually a completely self-taught graphic designer and video creator. My go-to place to learn these skills is on Skillshare, and I'm so excited to be partnering with them on today's video. It never fails in my comment section. People are asking what apps I'm using and how I do them. So for the first logo that you just saw, I actually made that in an app called Procreate, and the way I learned how to use it is in the Mastering Procreate class on Skillshare. It shows me how to create some illustrations and patterns, but right now I'm working on diving into the world of animation in Procreate. I've always known that people use the app to animate, but I've never really known how to do it. But now if I want to animate something like the logo we just created, I can do it in Procreate thanks to the Skillshare class I took. Skillshare also has these learning paths to help you explore something new this year. Learning paths are these curated sequential class collections to master a specific skill or competency. Right now I'm taking one for hobbyists who love getting creative as an outlet, which includes classes for drawing, photography, and graphic design. No matter what new skills you wanna learn, Skillshare is your one-stop shop for carefully curated content, created by industry pros and designed with your creative learning goals in mind. Plus the first 500 people that use my link will receive a one month free trial to Skillshare. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And now back to the logos. Okay, we have Coca-Cola plus Google. Okay, wait, this one's gonna be a fun one. Okay, so what I'm thinking for this one is kind of changing the name a little bit. So it says coca Kugel, and then transferring some of the different colors from the Google logo into Coca-Cola. Okay, so I started on Illustrator this time and I'm gonna go ahead and take the logos and turn them into vector images by using the image trace tool. And then I'm gonna take my pen tool and just kind of isolate all of the different letters so then I can transform them into the different colors of the Google logo. Cause right now they're all kind of connected. I need them to be separate so we can implement the separate colors in there. So I'm just cleaning everything up with the pen tool and then I'm gonna start isolating them and making them the right colors. So I am gonna make the O, the red from the Google logo. Then I'm gonna make the C, the yellow, the A, B, blue. And then I'm gonna work on this other half, making it say Google. So what I need to do is replicate the O's and then create my own G, again, using the pen tool. Then I'm gonna color all of them in with the proper colors again. 
and I wanna make the L be green. And then lastly, what I need to do is create the E. So I replicated the O, I took out the middle circle, and then I'm gonna just use the pen tool again to add in some white lines around it until I'm happy with how the E turned out. Last steps are, I just need to connect the L right here and the C, and here's the final result. I don't know, I kinda like the Coca-Cola logo in these different colors. It just makes it seem a little more fun. I do love their branding with the red, but I don't know, I think uh, some logos could use a little color now and then. I don't know if I love the name coca Google, but I did implement my vision exactly how I was hoping to. Next we have Lego plus Snapchat. Okay, wait, the two squares, I'm already getting some ideas. Okay, I am grateful both of these are squares. What I'm thinking is I take the ghost from Snapchat, put it inside the red box, and then add all the different strokes that the Lego logo has. So first what I wanna do is replicate that red box using the shape tool in Photoshop. But once I do that, I'm gonna add on the stroke and then I wanna make the corners be rounded just like the Snapchat one. So I'm just gonna select the shape tool again, make this fit exactly in the right one. And then all I have to do is drag the corners in to get those rounded edges. So let's just drag it to the proper size right here. Perfect. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is add on the black stroke around it so that it matches the Lego one. Let's make that a little bit bigger and perfect. Okay, now what I need to do is isolate that ghost. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bring that layer to the top and select it with the selection tool and mask it out. Now it's pretty much perfectly in the right place. So I'm just gonna add on the black stroke on top of that. And I do need to make it just a little bit bigger than the one on the outside, I think. So that's perfect. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and rasterize that entire layer style, then just redo that again, have the exact same stroke on there, but in yellow. And here's the final result. This one looks extremely cool, I would say. Like I would actually either download an app like that or buy this product, I think. So I think Mashing these two logos together really created something unique and new and something that I think is probably a good logo. And last but not least, we have Apple plus Android. Okay, we've got rivals for this one. Okay, last one, we have our rivals here. My idea for this one is basically to make the Apple logo green like the robot of the Android and then kind of implement different pieces from each one. Like put the line where I think it needs to on the neck and also add on the eyes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move the Android logo right on top of the Apple one and kind of resize it so it's almost exactly the same size as the Apple. And then I'm gonna place it where I want to and I'm just gonna take a black bar shape that I make with the pen tool and I'm just gonna use the Pathfinder tool to take that part out of the apple. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Now I need to add in those eyes. So I'm just gonna move it right back into place and take the circle pen tool over here and just replicate those eyes. And that one looks good. Now I'm just gonna put it over here again and perfect. And I also wanna move the little stem leaf of the apple right over top of where the little robots antennas are. So I'm going to do that and now I need to just replicate it and make it reflect so that it's going the other way. Perfect. Okay, it's looking a little bare so I'm thinking I might just take the arms from the logo of Android and put them on either side of the apple. Let's adjust that just a tiny bit and here's the final result. This one looks a little crazy, <laughs> but definitely still cute. I love the original Android logo so much, so I think adding it in with Apple is just a fun, playful take. Um, but I don't think it works as its own logo for sure. Okay, well that is all of them, all complete. Definitely let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. If you have any other ideas for rival logos that would create a fun logo mashup, also let me know that. As always, I post a short at least once a day, every single morning, if not twice a day. So look out for those. And I'm also gonna start going live hopefully twice a week, but definitely once a week. I'll put all of my posting and live schedules in my community tab. And I'm also gonna try to do one long form every single Friday. So look out for that. Thanks so much again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one.